right, let's go ahead and set up our magnetic car mount. All right, so I was using a uh, car mount not too long ago and it did break down on me. So now it's time to replace it. So I did have this iAudi that I was using for a while and it no longer extends the arms. And so time to get rid of it and install our new one. So this magnetic one, I have a really good feeling about this one because uh, I definitely do not want to have this blocking my line of sight anymore. And so it's going to be time to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and just take it right off. Plus dealing with the stickiness can sometimes be troublesome. All right, so now that we got that off, we're gonna go ahead and install our brand new magnetic car mount. I am a big fan of these magnetic car mounts because they just make life so much easier. You install them, they're out of the way, and then basically you are good to go to do your uh, your awesome driving experience. Whether you're listening to music or whatever, you are good to go. All right, so let's set this device up and I'm gonna walk you through it and I'll give you my general thoughts and impressions on how well this device works. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is connect the ball socket to the joint and to do that you actually have to completely unscrew this first part so let's go ahead and i'm going to show you how that works okay so the first thing that we're doing is we're just unscrewing this part right here it's probably going to be screwed in going to be relatively tight all you're doing is you're just unscrewing it and you're basically taking it off to the point where it basically comes off almost completely. All right, so I think I had it screwed in a little too much. It's probably best to have it be completely unscrewed, but the ring should be on the second piece first. And then you push in and then you can tighten the ring. <sighs> yes, it will take some a uh, little bit of muscle to complete this operation, but it is doable. Okay, now that it's on there, see that it actually went on much easier than when I had the ring on there the other way. Okay, now that it's on there, now I can tighten it a little bit. You probably don't want it to be super tight because you still want to be able to move around and position it properly. So we're just going to keep it about halfway unscrewed. And then we're going to pick a vent and we're going to tighten this section here by screwing this in. So right now it's loose. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten it all right let's tighten this bad boy and pick a vent so selecting a vent could be a little tricky because maybe you want to do the center vent so um you can keep your eye on the road and then slowly kind of like look around like this maybe you want to have it on this side it really just kind of depends what you want to do you could have it here or you can have it on, you can have it on the left side or you can have it on the right side it really just kind of depends on how you want to go about doing it sometimes what i'll do is i'll have multiple car mounts set up so so I might have one here and then I might also install a secondary one, maybe for a guest who may want to be able to mount their phone. Perhaps maybe I'll pull over and I'll use their phone. It really just depends on kind of how you want to go about doing it. I think the best setup will be to insert it directly in a middle vent. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, actually it looks like my vent might not be compatible. I might need to go up one more on this side over here. There we go. So I can connect on this side, but I can't do the middle vent because, or the, the lower vent because I'm just not close enough. I might be able to move my little vent vector. So I can't, if I could vector the vent up higher, I might be able to install it on the lower one, but it's just not going to work because there's simply not uh, the right angle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert it into this top one. Okay, I got it in there. I'm going to push a little bit harder and then I'm just going to start tightening it by tightening it with the knob. So you definitely want to be careful because if you tighten too hard or if you push in just a little too much, there is a chance that you might be able to damage it. So I would say just tighten it so it's firm, so it's fixed. But take note that the vent could break if you are too rough. That's that's just a, a thing to keep in mind. And it's actually it's actually going to be like that with every single type of car mount you get regardless you know of how it's set up the vents inside cars are really really fragile so just keep that in mind all right and of course i'm gonna have to uh center it and i'm gonna try it and position it in a few different areas to see how well this is gonna work because it's possible maybe by doing this setup here i'm gonna realize maybe i don't want to do it like this maybe i want to do it completely different it's just gonna depend on how i want to do it the key here is you definitely want to experiment because if you don't experiment <laughs> you're really not going to be able to know how well it works so let's just keep testing it and see which is going to be the best setup so in this particular situation the the limiting factor is that I am colliding with the bottom vent. That will be the limiting factor in this particular setup. So I am pushing it in, but not all the way. Let's tighten it and see how well it works. Okay. 
So I got it on there, but I'm thinking that because I wasn't able to stick it in all the way, that there is a little bit of like a little overhang as you can see there on the end. I think it might actually be better to insert it right on this area here. And the reason for that is it's just a much larger surface area. I think it might actually be a much better idea to put it there than the other spot. So I'm gonna try that next. Oh wow, actually it, it goes in just right. It goes in all the way and the bottom is also being held up by the flap here. So I'm having a really good feeling about this setup right here. Okay, so it's in there and it's actually not going anywhere, which I really, really like. Once you have that in there, then I recommend tightening this because you don't want your phone moving around too much. So I'm, go I'm going ahead and tightening it just a little bit here. And while you're tightening it, again, be gentle with the vent. All right. So I think it's set up and I think it actually looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. So let's go ahead and install our actual magnet, put it on our phone. So one of the things you wanna keep in mind when installing these is that, well, if you just take the magnet and you apply it to your iPhone, there is a chance that it might actually be kind of hard to take off. So. I highly recommend that you follow the instructions. Now the instructions say, which I did take a look at, the instructions say, clean the back of your phone off first. Highly recommend you guys do that because it will prevent the magnet from falling off. Then the instructions also say you definitely wanna apply the sticker once it's been cleaned. You're gonna apply the sticker. It's translucent, so I wouldn't really worry about color there. Apply the sticker and then that's when you apply your magnet. And what that does is it's gonna make it much easier to take off when the time is right. You will be able to change magnets. You will be able to take it off. I have had it before where I have applied those and I have not been able to take them off. So heed the warning, apply the sticker and then apply the magnet. All right. Let's do that. Alrighty, so we got our cleansing wipe. We're gonna go ahead and apply it to our phone. Alrighty, there it is. Ooh, this is a rather large cleansing wipe. Very nice addition. All right, I'm gonna clean that off. Nice and clean. And then I'm gonna dry it off. All right, so I got my sticker. Go ahead and apply it. And there it is. Sticker is now applied. Okay, so now peel off the magnet. Yeah, it is crazy how sticky these 3M sticky pads are. You can almost not even peel off the sticky part. Now let's apply it to our phone. Apply it right in the middle here, right on the pad. There it is, it's applied. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna push down just for a second here, solidify it, make sure it's not going anywhere. And there you have it, the magnet has been applied. Okay, let's see how well this works. Uh, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty solid and that is not going anywhere. Holy smokes. All right, well, I do think I have a relatively good setup. It is uh, placed in a pretty good spot. The other spot that I could try placing this vent on would be on this side here. Although I'm not really left-handed, so it might be a little awkward. Although it is something I should maybe consider because it might be maybe a little bit better because on this side, I have more actual vents. So it's possible that these little guards here won't be colliding with the bottom. I mean, it is secure because I have two points where it's being secured in the center there and then on the bottom. All right, so something interesting I just found out while trying to use one of my other phones is that you can actually put it on without needing the magnet and it actually stays on there quite good. Now, this is not gonna be the case with all phones, but however, with the iPhone 12 mini, I think it's because of the, uh, the new charging system that they implemented in the iPhone 12. The, the wireless charging ring that's built inside of it actually helps mount the phone to magnetic car mounts. So if you don't want to apply the magnet, you actually won't need to apply the magnet, uh, at least for the iPhone 12 mini, and that's definitely confirmed. I would like to know if it would work for iPhone 12 Pro Max. I suspect that it will also. I'll also be testing it while doing like high G-force turns to see if it'll fall off. I don't think it will because it's actually on there pretty good. So when it's time to remove the magnetic mount, you're not gonna be able to remove it by simply peeling this. I highly recommend that you get a knife that's not relatively sharp and you can insert it in between the seams and then apply some pressure inward and then outward like that. So inward, outward. So 
So as you can see, it's quite important to put the sticker on there because if you do not, it's not going to be removable very easily. And you might even risk possibly damaging the uh, device if you don't apply the sticker. Very important that you guys apply it, don't forget. Okay guys, so there you have it. I've shown you how to install this uh, vent car mount system. I really like it. It works really well with my phone and I highly recommend you guys try it out. My question to you guys is, have you tried any other vent mount systems before? Have you explored any other car mount systems? I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what your experience has been like. In my particular experience, I found it a little bit troublesome because sometimes I feel like the magnets are a little too strong or there's always some kind of weird flaw with my car mount. Like um, the sticky part on the ones that mount on the glass is usually just a little too sticky or again like I mentioned the magnet might just be a little bit too strong realistically they could save a lot of money by using a much smaller magnet and the phones these days they're not that heavy even the plus size phones still should not require such a crazy magnet all right guys that's it for this video I'm really glad you guys joined me and I hope to see you in the next one all right cheers